Okay, guys, hi. Um, how are you? And uh, thank you so much for coming here. Um, before I begin with this video, I want to first say something. I am an individual that um, has moved with love um, because love has the ability to give you clarity. Love will heal what's broken for you to understand um, where you should go ahead in life. Um, and I put that out there because when we are broken people seeking answers, we tend to make wrong uh, mistakes. We, take, we make mistakes and make the wrong decisions in life based upon how we feel. And then we turn around and have regrets based upon those wrong actions that we've taken now. Um, so I am a true advocate of whatever it is you are trying to do in your life. If you're trying to repair um, a relationship, your family, um, your entire life, you cannot hop around from relationship to relationship. You cannot um, cover up yourself with different hairstyles and different clothes and different outfits or different relationships, different, you know, activities until you feel better. You can't change jobs continuously until you feel better, hoping that that change is always going to make you feel good. When the problem itself is that there's no love on the inside. There's no clarity and understanding on the inside. Um, I truly feel that when you move and implement the actions of love in your life, all of your steps will be guided. And when it's time and necessary then for you to burn your bridges, you'll be able to do so with clarity and with no resentments, no bitterness and no attachments to that. That's now where this message is going today. Um, you know, because of a faith-filled individual that I am today, because of the love that I have for myself today and for others, um, I did my healing process. I, I chose to see love in aspects as best as I possibly could. When it was so difficult, I still did it as best as I could until it got easier and easier and easier. And I'm still doing it. And you'll get to a time where it is time to burn the bridges. Um, and you'll have a clear sign where it says, now there's no turning back. You have no reason to look to your past because one, you have healed from that past and two, your past never served you. You know, God says that the past is there and gone and over with and we shouldn't look back. Um, and that's why um, when we move with love, there is no resentment towards our past either. The past was there as an actual fact for us to have this lesson um, in life. And um, we can't hold grudges against anyone or anything or ourselves based upon what happened in our past. And that's why the healing process in self-love, embodying self-love, is so important and why I recommend it. Uh, but you will come to a time of your growth process and if you are on your spiritual journey where you will have to say, yeah, I'm ready to burn the bridge. Um,
So, you know, being on the move to something better in life and something greater, especially with God, um, it does not start with drawing up the blueprints for the new you. Your big dreams, your great plans, working out all those details, the new life of following God into this future, for this new you, it doesn't start with building your dream and planning out your life. The good life doesn't begin with building your dream house, your dream job, dream life. It begins with burning down the old house, the old life, and everything else. It begins with the act of arson, if you will. Um, when we are on this spiritual journey and our purpose is to serve at a greater purpose than even ourselves, you know, that means you lose yourself when you're on this journey, um, not in the terms of actual loss, with um, a negative connotation too, because now your life becomes the life of everybody else. I hope that makes sense. It's um, the most selfless type of love. Um, sacrifice of yourself for a greater cause. Um, because the, the point of burning a bridge, especially if your purpose is greater than yourself. So imagine you have done all types of healing, all types of growth and you know in your heart, you already feel that your purpose of service is going to take you places that you've never imagined, meeting people that you've never met before, doing types of things that you've never done, unimaginable things. Um, and you feel this in your heart. You have probably for all of your life, but it's really really been coming into play because your steps are always moved your steps are always proven when you are a reflection of love um, you cannot go back to that old negative lifestyle can you you cannot um, be that same person that you were before before all of this took place you cannot go back to your old habits, hang around the same negative people, um, watch the same negative things, whatever it is that you were doing in your past um, before your breakthrough. You can't do it and still have your future. Um, but in all of this, it wouldn't be clear. Your future wouldn't be clear if you weren't in the reflection of love. You wouldn't know that you should burn your bridge um, and do it where you're not going to have that animosity towards it. Um, because when you burn your bridge, you're supposed to burn it and then forget about it. If you have not been healed from your past, you're going to continuously look back at that bridge and rebuild it again with your mind and your heart. And it's always going to remember your pain. That means you're not moving forward. When it's time for you to actually burn your bridge, you have, you have done and severed all of those ties. The negativity is gone. The pain won't be there any longer for you to take with you in your future. Um, that's why what I have always spoken about with that loving process of embodying your self-love 
healing yourself and being the reflection of love in all aspects of your life as best as you can until it becomes like breathing. That's when it's time to burn a bridge, it'll be right there before you. Um, and this is something, if you couldn't tell, my voice got a little shaky here and there. Because I'm burning a new bridge. It doesn't mean that we're not going to have an emotional response when we see that a bridge is being burned. Because love always wants to love. We're taught to love. And no matter amount, what amount, you know, the healing process that it takes place, if it's fresh, it has to sit in your heart. You know, it's these tears are me saying goodbye. They're healthy tears. It's not a sad tear. It's a tear of excitement. Of. Of a good kind of pride. Of honor. Of thankfulness. that I am really ready to burn a bridge. Cast it into the sea. Um, you have to be really ready for that to take place. And only love, only embodying self-love will do that for you. Um, So I'm going to end this video with that, um, with this extra message that uh, I am now offering, or have been offering, one-on-one -on -one sessions, um, as needed for any individual private sessions that I offer either on a weekly basis, bi-weekly or monthly basis, and I am also looking into making a group session via Zoom. Um, which is an online system that I'm going to do um, soon. So if you are interested, I will put my information down below for you to reach out and sign up for these um, sessions and we can get together and discuss your options uh, more readily when you are available um, to take control over your own life and begin your healing process and your spiritual or just growth journey. This is Christy. Much love, health, and healing your way. I am bringing purpose to your life. Take care.